This is Twit. Charting the trends of CES is a great way to map out the development of future tech. And if you want to see that, you should watch the first part of my CES 2024 rundown. But sometimes, you just want to see the gadgets. Now look, I know everyone else is showing off LG's transparent screens or any of the myriad high-profile toys throughout the show, but I didn't want to show the same tech that every content creator is posting. So here's my list of the top 10 gadgets from CES that I want in my inventory. Number 10. The RCA Smart Bird Feeder I know that AI is an overused term, especially once the marketing folks get a hold of it, but there are a few fun uses on the consumer level. One of them is RCA's Smart Bird Feeder. This is a $100 buffet for our feathered friends, but with a twist. Along with whatever seeds you want to provide, this waterproof, weather-resistant product includes a solar-powered, 145-degree, wide-angle 1080p network camera with night vision and motion detection that pushes video footage to local storage and the cloud. An app allows you to watch the feed, and it uses AI to automatically identify more than 10,000 different species of birds. If you're an avid birder, or just like to see what kind of wildlife shows up in your yard, this is fun tech. Number 9. The Govee Sync Box I know you like gadgets, and this is the gadget for me. This is the Govee AI Sync Box. No, not the monitor. No, not even the white panel behind. It's actually a system of lighting that ties into whatever is being broadcast over your HDMI cable. Now, that box right down there, that's the actual sync box. It's connected to those two light bars on the side, and it's trying to pattern the light that it's projecting based on what it sees in the HDMI pass-through. Now, the nice thing about this is it's not just color matching. It's not just trying to put up the same colors that it sees on the screen. It's intelligent enough to recognize what kinds of patterns it's seeing on screen. If you've got fireworks, it will generate fireworks in the background. If you've got explosions, it will try to amplify those explosions. Now, this isn't something that just looks good. If you're a gamer, it gives you a more immersive experience, and, and yeah, it just looks cool. Number 8. Amazfit Helio I didn't jump into the wearables craze as quickly as everyone else, but passing by the Amazfit Helio ring at Pepcon made me do a double take. Aimed at the more athletic among us, the Helio uses a suite of sensors inside an attractive titanium ring to collect heart rate, blood oxygen levels, stress response, and sleep data. Amazfit is planning to offer the ring in 12 sizes when it releases in the spring, which will lock out certain groups of prospective users, but I was a fan of the look, the app, and the development team. Number 7. Rolling Square In Charge M You might be asking yourself, Padre, why are we looking at a cable? Well, this is no ordinary cable. You see, when they manufactured this cable, they actually mixed some iron ferrite into the plastic that is being used to insulate it, and then they expose it to a very high magnetic field, which makes it slightly magnetic. The end result is this. It allows it to recoil into its perfect shape every single time. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a, of a, of a bump just to get it back there, but it will always try to retake its coiled form. Now, they've got a 1 meter and a 2 meter version of this. It's going to be starting at $20 available this quarter. Number 6. The Rocksteady Stadium There are dozens of vendors who want to show you their take on the greatest speaker ever, but I try to limit myself to just one a year. This year, it was Rocksteady's turn. Their stadium wireless speaker provides 30 watts of power, 20 watts to the mid-range and 10 to the tweeter, and has enough USB-C charged battery power for about 16 hours of continuous play. You connect via Bluetooth 5.0 or a wired connection, which I appreciate, but after you connect to one of their units, you can put it into stadium mode. In that mode, the connected speaker broadcasts and you can add an unlimited number of additional wireless speakers. Best part is that they use Bamboo Tech's codec 
to make sure that you don't get echoes or delayed audio from any of the speakers. And it truly, truly sounds good. Better than what I would expect from Bluetooth speakers. And they also have a subwoofer that adds some serious bass line to your audio. You can buy a pair of the speakers for about $220 or the kit with two speakers and the sub for $370. Number five, the Niakasa Nomo N3 Robot Vacuum. $250 for a premium robot vacuum? For that price, you get a Wi-Fi connected sweep mop vacuum with self-emptying adjustable suction, 14th generation LiDAR, a 5.2 amp hour battery that gives you 320 minutes of continuous operation, an intuitive mapping function, Google and Amazon Assistant support, and customizable no-go zones. I've never been a fan of Robovax, but the N3 has changed my mind about the utility. Also, I named mine Wally. Number four, the Runhood 1200 Pro. More power should be the rallying cry of every geek. And with the $1,700 Runhood 1200 Pro, you get it. The kit includes four battery modules for more than 1200 watt hours of power, a dock that can hot swap those modules, five DC outlets, including wireless charging, three 1200 watt pure sign AC outlets, and a travel ready 100 watt solar panel. You can power your dock with AC, DC, or solar, and power or charge up to nine devices simultaneously. This is the perfect unit for RV, tiny home, or van life. My favorite feature is the mini docks that can snap directly onto the battery modules that you remove from the dock to provide you with AC or DC power. You can even directly charge the modules from the solar panel without the dock itself. Now, Runhood seems to understand that geeks need flexible power solutions, and they've provided it in spades. Number three, the HP Poly Voyager 360. Last year, my favorite earbuds were the HP Poly Voyager 360 Plus UC. With active noise cancellation, 15 hours of talk time, a touchscreen to control your calls at a glance, and great sound, the 60 Plus is an absolutely fantastic set of professional earbuds. But with a $330 price tag, they were a bit much for many. The 360 includes the same quality audio, same fit, and same feature set, minus the touchscreen case and some service integrations for about $200 less. Sure, there are some other great earbuds out there, but for users like me who spend a lot of time using unified communications apps, Poly is undefeated. Number two, the Targus Dual Host KVM Dock 750. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. A KVM? A dock? How is that new? But, but hear me out. The 750 isn't just a dual host dock that provides 100 watts of power to two different computers and three display outputs. It isn't just a KVM. You see, Targus created a device that lets you control both computers and their associated screens as if it were a single desktop. It's like Microsoft's mouse without borders, except it's OS agnostic. That means you can have any two computers, Windows or Mac, Mac and Linux, Linux and more Linux, and a single keyboard, mouse and set of ports will control both seamlessly without having to switch. Your mouse and keyboard just automatically roll over to the other computer when you move your mouse from screen to screen. Now I know that I may be an edge case user, but these capabilities are exactly what I needed in my lab. Honorable mentions. The Snap 4 Lux from Osnap. Yeah, it's a $40 pop socket phone holder, but with two big advantages. First, it's crazy thin. Second, it's charge through compatible, meaning that you can wirelessly charge through the Lux. Acer's entire Predator line. Fast, dependable, pretty, and feature packed at a price point that works with almost every budget. Acer continues to impress. The Audio Radar. This is a kit that interprets 7.1 surround sound into lighting commands, giving hearing impaired gamers a visual cue as to the direction of in-game sounds. Number one, Time Kettle. Maybe it's because I spend most of my day speaking languages that are not my primary, but I love the use of AI to increase the accuracy and convenience of automatic translations. Time Kettle does exactly that. And this year, we bring our newest product, the X1 Interpreter Hub, here. And also the most advanced product 
in this field on this planet. So it's a AI technology based hardware that help you can communicate with the other one using different languages. And that's it. That's my top 10 list of gadgets from CES. Now there were plenty of others that showed great design and utility, but for me, this is the tech that I want in my life. Till next time, I'm Father Robert Balasaire, the digital Jesuit, saying goodbye from CES 2024.